Who's your heart beating for? Who's your heart beating for in this life? You mentioned before that you had uh, that you keep a sign or a uh, mantra on your desk. So, what is it that you do? So, I um, well, I'm trained as a mental health therapist. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Uh, my background is actually in PTSD therapy work, using evidence-based treatments for that, such as prolonged exposure and cognitive processing therapy. Um, I'm also now incorporating uh, Jikit and Reiki. The word Jikita means directly handed down from teacher to student uh, mm -hmm. without alterations. So I've been using Jikita and Reiki, and then I'm also actually working with a whole new mentor um, who I've been working with since last March. Her name is Pamela Erlin, and she's a spiritual teacher uh, as well. So just like you said, you know, when the, when you're ready, the teacher will arrive, and there mm -hmm. they are, and that's what happened. <laughs> so I'm, I've been learning. Um, what she has developed called quantum alchemy, which is just a way to use things within ourselves, the light, sound, you know, elements and everything to help with healing, help yeah. with uncovering. Now that's interesting. That, who we are. That's a form of healing that, you know, very few of us actually think of because it's uh, not one we generally espouse in the Western world. Oh, exactly. Um, yeah. But to think that just sound, which we engage with all the time, light, which we engage with all the time, color, which is, you know, uh, other than the blind we, and the color blind, we engage with all the time. So right. to think that these things that um, we would consider to be everywhere or possibly even mundane when used correctly, you know, and I'm assuming there's a, there's a complete mm -hmm. method to this, right. um, could actually be something that's a part of your healing. That's mm -hmm. interesting. And I don't know if you've ever seen um, on YouTube, you know, one of the channels that that I like on there is called Meditative Mind. Okay. And they have a lot of different sound frequency, mm -hmm. hertz and everything that are associated with specific areas. So it might be associated with like the heart chakra, root chakra, um, or different levels of healing or helping to relieve anxiety or some, you know, something along those lines. So, you know, that's just another way that sound can be incorporated and so when i do a reiki session i frequently will pick a hertz frequency that is in alignment with whatever that person is interested in working on who's your heart beating for who's your heart beating for in this life